Uh, one more tough one. The rest are much nicer, but okay. this one, this one I can't wait to hear about, actually. <laughs> Look at her. Girl, Miss Jenna. Oh, oh God. Caitlin you Jenna. Guys. This is a setup. Well, this isn't a setup, <laughs> sweetie. This is right in your timeline. This is a setup. I mean, I, this was, all right. this was what I like I'm to call I'm just gonna bold. spill all my tea. Bold. You know, just, okay. Um, <laughs> Caitlyn Jenner, I was a fan, huge fan of Caitlyn. Right. I was so happy to see that she was stepping into um, who she truly is. I felt like there was something awkward on the show with Bruce, and I felt like maybe there was maybe something that he was holding back, and then he became she, and it was a beautiful thing. But then afterwards, you know, this 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 title of activism seems to be convenient for folks that are in the public eye who want to look good in front of others, but they're never around. I call them absent activists. Um, and that's where I feel like, she, you know, I, I, I feel like she came in, took advantage of, of our community, and then took her money and left. Mm. That's really how I feel. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to collaborate with her. We had dinner at her house, you know, and like people- In Malibu? In Malibu. On the cliff? I got to know her. She seemed extremely vulnerable. I gave her a gift bag full of stuff, and I was like, you know, I just want you to know that everything's gonna be okay. Um, call me anytime, let's work on Latin America. I'm going out there, you know, right. I want to do some activism work. And she said, sure, 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 sure. And then she just disappeared, you know? And um, I don't know. It's just, that's it. She just, well, she cer certainly has not turned into the ally for uh, everyone that we thought she would be yeah. as one of us. Well, yeah, I mean? I mean, that's my personal experience. But generally speaking, like, I would have loved to see her really take a stand. If she does want to identify as, like, a Republican trans person, then why isn't she, you know, attending those uh, Republican meetings? Or why isn't mm. she getting in there and, and really being the hero that I believe she can be. If, if, you know, she does have influence, she does have following, she does have wealth, she does have privilege. Use it to fix things. You know, I am intersectional, I am Latina, I am trans, queer. It's harder for me to make a big impact because of those things. Those things do matter to a lot of the conservative gatekeepers that are out there. If she has access to those people, why isn't she making the changes that I feel like she Agreed. needs to make? You know, it seems, it just seems weird for me. And um, I, I don't know, that's what I, I'd love to see her be more active in politics. I'd love to see her try to create some policy change. I'd love to see her more um, accessible to trans people who need some guidance, um, who need love, who need a lot of things. You know, I'd love to see her in Utah. I'd love to see her at Love Loud. I'd love to see her at the Trans Latino Coalition. I'd love to see her donate some money to History Unerased. You know, All those that's things what we need that to she do. should be doing, exactly. Yeah, because, you know, there's organizations that are actually creating curriculums for teachers and educators who will educate the educators on queer history so that if it's in schools, it breaks the ice with students, there's less bullying, like all of these things count. And it's like, there can't just be one person trying to do that. There's so many of us trans people that are out there in the public eye. We should be banding together and actually making the change now versus expecting our celebrity to influence the change. It's not gonna happen. You've gotta get up and you gotta go out there and say, I'm gonna actively call this politician or that politician or this person or that person or whoever, call your friends. I'm sure Caitlin's got a Rolodex of people and make that change. Put it into motion. Stop sitting around wanting to be famous or wanting to be talked about your glamour. Mm -hmm. You know, like, I have a problem with that. So, my voice is going away. I need to stop talking. That's God <laughs> telling me to stop talking <laughs> shit. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Miss Laverne. Laverne Coxie, I told you, it was turning I a corner. I love Laverne. <laughs> I love Laverne. Laverne gave me some really good advice. Uh huh. At the time I was filming this reality show, Tyra Banks was executive producing it, mm. um, and it went to shit. And um, just because of the was producers, it, about your life? it was about it was six trans girls living in Chicago. Okay. And they pinned us all against each other. Oh, really? It was they were the worst to do a time of my life. Type of thing. It was. They were trying to do a bad girls club type of thing. Ooh. Oh. Shucks. Right. But they were using my name. They put me in Hollywood Reporter. Carmen Carrera stars in reality show based on the real lives of trans women in Chicago. Bullshit. <laughs> I got wow. there and it was like, you know, 
this one's your enemy, that one's your enemy. You know, they would set us up, they would put us in situations where we'd be fighting at like um, really expensive restaurants, all mm -hmm. this stuff. And I didn't know who to go to because I'm like, how is this happening? Like, everyone's gonna hate me. They're gonna, you know, put me, think that I'm part of this like terrible show. And like, and I called, you know, I spoke to Laverne and she gave me some amazing advice. You know, she like affirmed that it's not me and there's nothing that I can do about it and things like this happen because, you know, Laverne's been in the game for a while. Like she's been on a couple of TV shows, reality shows um, before, um, before I came out. So it was like, yeah, like she was really that, that voice of like to calm me down and to say everything's gonna be okay, you know, and just do this, this and this and you'll be fine. And it worked, you know? Wow. She was really there for me and I really appreciate her. And that show just never made made it through oh, because no. you stopped uh, no, participating? No no. no, 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 because VH1 was like, um, what is this? Uh, you know, uh, like, uh, we can't put this on the air. Are uh, you kidding me? Yeah, so that's how I got couples therapy with my ex. Right. Yeah, because they were like, Carmen, we love you and your story. We want to keep you on VH1 and we think VH1 viewers will enjoy you. And then that's how I did that. So, yeah. Right, well, better that show than the other no, show. No, it was so bad. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. It was really bad. It was really, really, really bad. But I hope maybe one day we do something like that with a better production company who have who has better intentions for our community. You know, it was kind of like a Jerry Springer. It was like Jerry Springer was producing it for, like, Bad Girls Club spin-off right. trans <laughs> oh, version. Lord, like, that's yeah. literally what it felt like. Um, but it was being promoted as, like, this, like, innovative, progressive show that's going <laughs> to give you, like, the real insight, you wow. know, on beautiful trans women. And it was BS. It was BS, but I got paid. There's always that, sweetie. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I learned a lesson. I learned a huge lesson in this business. Mm. You know, I've, I've had a lot of experience um, that many people don't know about. There's been other projects that didn't work or whatever, but I gained so much um, just firsthand experience, you know, on, on how I should be navigating things, why it's important to have a lawyer, why it's important to have a manager, representation, why it's important to have your best friend by your side, mm. all of those things. You know, I, I've come to, to learn those lessons because of these hardships, you know, so it's all worth it for me. Yeah. Yeah. All right, look at home. Steven Mysel, legendary, honey. Steven you told us Mysel. in the main show about how great the pulls are when they come from W Magazine. Yes. Tell us something that, you know, no one, not very many people know what it's like to work with Steven Mysel. No, well, Steven Mysel, first of all, if you get photographed by Steven Mysel, he, that puts you like on a different list of yes. like, you know, amazingness. Um, when I got the call, so I worked with Steven twice. I got the call from my manager. Okay, you're gonna go shoot with W. It's Steven Mizell that's shooting. And I'm like, wait, so is it just me? <laughs> like, is it like Rue too? Like, is it like all of us? And he's like, nope, it's just you. You know, just you. And, and I went in and they were like literally ast like astonished by me. Wow. And I was, yeah, I was just like, what, me? <laughs> like, really? And yeah, like he, they were just really catering. Like, and um, he yells, like he'll yell. Like, no, yes. Stop, keep going, <laughs> slow down. You know, but he's like right in front of you. <laughs> like, yeah, but he, you know, and um, he's very private. You don't see him out very often. Um, he lives in a beautiful house. I bet. He has a big heart. He's a Gemini. Uh, and that's that's pretty much it. He's super dope. I want to work with him again. I bet. Yeah, I should hit him up. I have his email. We email sometimes, like, Merry Christmas, Happy Birthday. That's yeah. sweet. Oh, what yeah. a legend. Like, once so you're a Mizell girl, like, you mm. are a Mizell girl for life. Yes. yes. <laughs> Look at her. Jennifer Lopez. Oh, that's my mother. Yes. <laughs> J-Lo's my mother. Um, so I used to be like a huge like super fan. And I used to like go to like TRL with a poster. My mom used to sign me out of school to go see J-Lo at TRL. Wow. Uh-huh. I used to we used to be out there with my friends, like stalking her like all the time. And um then I grew up. I went to high school, obviously graduated, la la la. And um and I went to go see her at an autograph signing and she remembered me. And I was like, wow, like, this lady is really smart. Like, she remembers me. So I kept, you know, sort of running into her, like, um, I think, what was it that I was doing at the time? I remember I was on set of her movie, and Mark Anthony invited me to dress up as drag as Jennifer for her 40th birthday. This was 10 years ago. Wow. And I did, and that's what sort of, like, I guess got me, like, the in, you know, like, with her and her people. 
And um, I saw her at the GLAAD Awards after that. She just so happened to be um, getting an award. And I was invited, and I was at the time when like, um, I was really popular, I guess. And she pulled me aside backstage and she said, don't let this industry change you. Like, I watch you and like, keep going. God bless you, like da da da. And yeah, like ever since then, like I would, I went to her concert and like you know I would check in and it actually makes me feel like this huge A-list celebrity is like actually keeping up with my like <laughs> little tiny like things that I'm doing, you know, and um, yeah, like I I don't know, like I look up to her so much, like I I she's my idol, she's my idol. How yeah. how incredible to have that moment with someone that you've loved for your entire life. Yeah, I mean, ideally, I don't know if I don't want to jinx it, but I wish that my idol would become my mentor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. <laughs> Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. But yeah, I love J Lo. I mean, I, I think she's gonna be fifty, and like the amount of energy she has. Just on look at she's taking the potion, the uh, the death becomes her potion, <laughs> where she doesn't age. But you know, I don't. It's not even about like her age or her way that she looks. It's her talent and her energy. Mm -hmm. Like the energy that she gives you. Like when if you ever if you ever find yourself around her, like in passing, she's got like this energy that. It's like a bubble of like light almost, you know? And I'm not just saying that because I'm like a fan, like I'm very sensitive to people's vibe. And like she's just got this dope vibe. And I think it's because she's so seasoned and experienced and she's also um, strict, I guess, with like learning her routines and, you know, banging out these TV shows back to oh, back yeah. to back. And that's just so inspiring to me. You know, and I, I really hope I get to work with her. I know she's doing like a stripper movie. Oh, yeah, it's called honey. Hustlers. All right. I'd love to be the trans girl. We need diversity. <laughs> yes. Just saying. Elaine goes with Thomas. She's, you know, the producer. So. All right, get it together, J Lo. Please book me. Look at her. <laughs> now we've talked Hello. about her on the main show um, and all the drama, but yeah. is there anything else you want to say? I respect RuPaul a lot. I think that, you know, having your own TV show twice, um, being in this business for so long, it, you know, she's probably in her shell a lot of the times. And um, I respect her a lot. I think she's super creative. And I wish to have a better relationship with her. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I really do. She's fierce, girl. Like she's like the mother of all drag queens. Like she <laughs> yes, is. Yes, she sure is. Yeah, she's the mother of all of us. And um, and yeah, I think she's amazing. I think she's amazing. I still do, regardless of whatever happened. Even though it's like whatever, but overall, it's the greatest good is that she's pretty awesome. Well, Carmen Ooh. made it all the way through. Look out! <laughs> <laughs> Carla, thanks for being here today, sweetie. Thanks for being Thank honest. So and thanks for fighting for all queer people, yes. trans youth, and continue to do what you do because it's so important. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Lady Ray, did you have fun with Miss Carmen today? Girl, she gave me my life. <laughs> <laughs> Lady Red's blazed and ready, sweetie. I had to take a blood break for just a second. I was like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank you, Lady Red. Thank you to the boys from Echo V and Trilino. And of course, thank you to Carmen Carrera. Thank you. And thank we'll you so see much. you next time on Hey Queen and Look at her. Hit it!